Hello friends, we have very important guests here. Today, uh, directors of the Skyway Transport Australia, Rod Hook and Mary Walkup. Hello. Hi Michael. Michael, hello, good to see you again. Uh, the same, welcome back in Belarus. Thank you. Thank you, it's our fourth time here over the last uh, few years, so always great to come back and see the project being developed further and further. Uh, just mention, uh, when was the last time that you visited our country? I was here in um, March last year, Mary uh, a few months before that, but last time I was here I came with um, a representative from the Australian Rail Safety um, Regulators Office and we were able to ride in a uni, uh, uni bike then uh, and uh, start to introduce the the technology into our regulator's office, which was a good step forward for us. Now it's, um, uh, I'm back again, it's about 11 months later. Uh, and well, how do you uh, view the progress made by our company in, well, uh, during that period of time? And I know that today you visited our production facility and uh, you were able to see that apart from a unibike, and the Unibus that we had a year ago, now we have something uh, that wasn't present at that moment. So your impressions are welcome. The production facility is so much more dynamic, uh, with so much more equipment, so much more plant, and uh, progress on uh, developing uh, different pods. So it was exciting to see it. I think when I was last here, we were able to um, get on a, uh, a bike, a motorised bike, and ride it around the facility. Um, not the uh, room to do that now. There's, um, there's a lot being built, and it was great to walk around there and see the progress, but also a lot of the plant that's been bought to help to uh, produce um, the, um, the rolling stock. Um, uh, there's a lot of very expensive equipment there. Uh, thank you. Uh, what was the phrase, Marie, that you used um, mostly today during a visit? I remember that a year ago uh, you mostly said, it's amazing, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. I've Your tried not to say amazing. <laughs> um, I, uh, I was impressed and um, I said to Alec um, how impressed I was with the standard of machinery that he's bought and invested in. It's um, state-of-the-art um, steel manufacturing machinery and I, I will the say... Formula One technology has that yeah. American mm. machine. Yes, yeah. So um, Industry 4.0 practices are being implemented at the Skyway facility, which is amazing. So amazing. <laughs> um, and, uh, and I do, um, I like the new colours that you're applying to the vehicles, the Skyway vehicles, the bronze and, and the white colours look great. So I'm very impressed. So my word was impressed. I'm, Impressed. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it great that Mary can fly halfway around the world or all the way around the world to comment on the colours on the rolling stock? <laughs> Women. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are your, uh, say, uh, points of success uh, in Australia? Could you specify a bit? We uh, continue to talk to governments, to government ministers, uh, to chief executives, um, often of mining companies. In fact, on the day we flew out of Australia, we had a uh, significant meeting uh, with um, representatives from a mining company uh, who are looking to start operations to, uh, to send their product either 350 kilometres by road or 250 k's as the bird flies, which of course Skyway can deliver. Um, very keen, very interested in what we're talking about. They've given us the quantities. Um, but um, we have in Australia, um, everyone we talk to is interested. I guess the thing that we still need to uh, grapple with is most people say, I'm interested, I just want to see it, I want to see it working. So that's the challenge that we still have. Uh, we have a demonstration site here in Belarus, um, but I think people on our side of the world are just keen to see us build something, uh, have our regulator approve it, um, and um, uh, I'm confident it will take off from uh, that initial project. 
Thank you. Uh, what are your plans for the future, the nearest future? Maybe part of it you've just mentioned, maybe there, there's something more to it. Yeah, well, we have um, a list of um, delegates that would like to travel to Belarus um, in a couple of months' time. So we, um, we see ourselves back here very soon, probably eight or nine weeks' time, with a, a group of potential clients wanting to ride the system, um, see the manufacturing plant, uh, meet Anatoly in person, and talk to some of the engineers that will be designing um, solutions for their needs. So that's, um, that's a, a major activity that we're planning very soon. We'd like to also um, have decided with Anatoly the first uh, project for Australia and, and start designing and, and building it this year. That's, that's the goal. That's the ultimate goal. I think it's also relevant to note, Michael, that since we were last here, uh, we've had the, um, uh, the, the pleasure, um, the privilege of hosting mm -hmm. Anatoly and Victor in Australia, and we've been able to take them around um, to alter a couple of our wineries, but also uh, to show them some of the projects that we think mm -hmm. they will be interested in. Yes. Were they interested? Definitely. And um, the uh, engineers, uh, Anatoly's engineers, have prepared um, high-level concepts for us that we have um, discussed with our clients and um, we're nearly ready to take the next step. So um, it was very beneficial for Anatoly to visit Australia. Um, I should also say we, um, we're making arrangements for him to visit us again very soon in the near future, so in the next two or three months, subject to his availability. Um, Anatoly is a very busy man. That's true. Um, it is, but uh, I know he's been flying um, uh, to Dubai and Indonesia, and um, but we, we um, would like to see him in Australia a lot more in the near future. Thank you. So I wish you success and hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Thank you.